What's up, scapers, and welcome to Benedict's World Tour mini quest guide. The quest requirements are stolen hearts. Partial completion. I think it is up to the point of you being able to access the upstairs of the palace. Also, the Grand Tree for using the gnome gliders. The item requirements are a wicked hood, put it on, and make sure you can use the Earth Talisman teleport. Also, a Ring of Dueling, put it on, and have at least four charges. Have seven free inventory slots for the quest items, and the recommended unlocks are low stones to Varok, Alcarid, Portsarim, Siege Village, Lumridge, and Falador. Have some quick teleport charges from using Wispax. One Wispax equals ten quick teleports. Let's go. To start off, use the low stone to Varok. Go northwest to the Benedict's building and talk to Benedict. Go north towards the Varrock Castle. Go to the northwestern corner and climb up the stairs all the way to the top. Click on the fox belt. You will get this animation on every item, so be prepared to wait each time. Use the low stone to Alcarid. Head south to the palace. Climb up the stairs to your southeast. Go northwest and climb up the stairs. Click on the toffee apple. Right click your ring of dueling and select duel arena. Head east. Pick up the package next to the statue. Right click the Ring of Dueling and use the Dual Arena teleport option. Head southwest to use the Gnome Gliders. Use the option to Sindar Pos. Pick up the raw fish like thing. Right 
right click the GNOME, Clyde, and select option 1, Takuire Priv. Go south, climb down the stairs once. Head south. Pick up the flask of tea. Right click the Ring of Dueling and select Castle Bars. Go northwest to the walls. Pick up the sweets. Right click your wicked hood and use the runecrafting guild teleport. Enter the low level rune span. Go southwest and collect the crystal. Right click your ring of dueling and select Duel Arena. Head northeast, we are heading to the Polypore dungeon next. Keep going to northeast. Enter the Polypore dungeon. Head east and collect the cinnamon next to the Neem Troop wine. You still lost on the birds room. We are heading to the much skipper point. Head south and slightly west. The item will be at the very end. Collect the toy ship. Use the lost on the search village. We are heading to the sorcerer's tower. Head south. Go.
go to the building with the quest icon. Climb up the ladders all the way to the top. Pick up the money pouch. Use the lost on the Lombridge. We are heading to the Lombridge castle. Head west. Climb up the stairs once. Head north. Pick up the pipe. Use the lowstone to Rumridge. Go south and slightly east to the rocks. Right click wizard chambers and select teleport, pick up the food, go south and slightly west. Enter the world window. If you haven't been here before, you will get a cinematic. I will continue without it. Go north and pick up the frog burger. Use the lost on the Falador. We are heading to the Falador castle. Go south. Climb up the stairs to your west. Climb up the stairs and the next stairs. Pick up the monocle. Click on your wicked hood and use the earth altar teleport. Head east towards Pater Thomas. We are heading to the southeastern beacon.
go up the stairs and pick up the scarf. Use the lowstone to Ashdale. If you don't have it, use the lowstone to Port Sarum. Go northeast, right click Godric and travel to Ashdale. Option 1, yes. Keep going to north. Head west to the lodestone and unlock it if you haven't already. Head south from the lodestone and pick up the last item. Congratulations, Benedict's World Tour mini quest completed. You can get rid of the scrapbook, use the lamps however you want to. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one.